Hi, my name is Robert Ahern. I'm with Stage 8 Locking Fasteners. Stage 8 Locking Fasteners is an active mechanical locking fastener company. That's all we do is specialize in active mechanical locking fasteners. I have here in my hand a header bolt, and the way it works is by putting a groove here in the top of the bolt. The bolt goes in and gets torqued to spec. A locking retainer that is specific to the engine goes over the top of the bolt just like a box end wrench. It goes up against the tube of the header, and then you simply take an E-clip goes right into that groove to lock it. It cannot loosen because it's a true active mechanical lock. Kind of the next step up in complexity is for a collector kit. We add one extra piece of hardware called a threaded tab. The threaded tab goes on the back of the collector bolt. The tab will spin around and hit the tube on the back so you only have to wrench one side, which is kind of nice. And you'll notice once it's installed, the bolt cannot counter rotate because the retainer is up against the tube. And on the back side, the threaded tab can only tighten itself. Uh, this is an active mechanical lock. So when you have a lot of thermal cycling and a lot of vibration and you need a fail-safe threaded joint, Stage 8's the place to go. Now I'd like to show you our active mechanical locking uh, spindle nut. We have a spindle nut that you can lock in any position, 360 degrees. So once you get the clamp load value set, we will lock it in exactly that position. This is our spindle nut system. It's called the X-Lock. This is the notched washer that goes over the keyway on the spindle. That's your first step. We only use one nut rather than a dual jam nut system. The nut goes on. And let's say that's your clamp value right there. We can lock it in this exact position. There is a prime number of notches in the notched washer, a prime number of tabs in the locking retainer with an even number on the inside. By the way, this locking retainer is made of 4130 chrome moly. It's very strong material. The mathematical relationship between the numbers is such that, and it goes on and it doesn't engage, if you watch the tabs right here, if I just turn it every time, they walk a little bit, and they will always find themselves a spot where it'll fall right down in. Looks like one more. No, oh, one more. Right there. Then you simply drop a snap ring over it to hold that down. This will provide up to 250 foot-pounds of reverse torque resistance and it's bulletproof. Now one of the things we did, since we know you're going to have to use snap ring pliers, is we went ahead and put two holes in the locking retainer so that you can actually get down inside the hub and fit it without busting your knuckles. Once again, this is Robert Ahern from Stage 8 Locking Fasteners. If you have a threaded joint that won't stay tight, please contact us at our 800 number, which is 800-843-7836. Thank you.